Let's say that we wanted to create a hole on a metal object. We know that the power tool that we need in order to do so is the drill press. Depending on the size of the hole, you will need a particular size of tool bit in order to do so. Basically, the bigger the hole that you wanted to create, the bigger the tool bit that you need. However, there are several factors that needed to be considered aside from the size of the tool bit that will be used. Today at Automec, we will discuss about the cutting speed, drill speed, and drill diameter, the factors needed during drilling operation. the operation of producing a cylindrical hole of required diameter and depth by removing metal by the rotating edge of a cutting tool called drill. That drill may either be a drill press or a portable drill. These drilling machines may perform operations such as drilling for making cylindrical holes, boring for enlarging a drilled hole, and dreaming for finishing holes. There are three main factors that are needed to be considered during drilling operation. First is the drill diameter or DD. This refers to the diameter size of the drill bit to be used and attached to the drill press during drilling operation. Drill diameter have a unit of inches or millimeter. Second is the drill speed or DS. This refers to the speed of revolution made by the drill press itself and its unit may be referred to as RPM or revolutions per minute. The drill press may be adjusted to a lower or higher RPM by adjusting the input and output ratio of the pulleys of the drill press. Third is the cutting speed or CS. This refers to how deep is being cut or created within a minute and its unit may be referred to as FPM or feet per minute and MPM or meter per minute. Now that we know the factors needed to be considered during drilling operation, let's move on on how to calculate for the cutting speed. For today, we will be focusing on the metric system. This is the original formula on how to calculate the cutting speed during drilling operation. However, to make it less confusing based on what we have discussed regarding the factors of drilling operation, we will be substituting the variables. Let's say a construction worker needed to create a hole of 20 mm diameter on a cast iron plate using an HSS drill bit. Drill press is currently running on 1200 revolutions per minute. Calculate the cutting speed that will be applied in creating the hole. We know that the workpiece is a cast iron plate. Since the diameter of the hole needed to be created is 20 mm, that basically means that that will be the size of the drill bit that will be used on workpiece. Meaning, drill diameter or DD is equals to 30 mm. Another factor that we know is that the drill press is currently producing a speed of 1200 revolutions per minute. Meaning, drill speed or DS is equals to 1200 RPM. Now that we have identified the DD and DS, we can now solve for the CS or cutting speed using our formula. Going back to our cutting speed formula of CS is equals to pi times DD times DS divided by 1000. Substitute the variables using the given formula and we will get CS is equals to pi over rev times 20 millimeters times 1200 rev per minute divided by 1000 millimeters per minute. Cancel out the units then solve. Remember to observe the PEMDAS rule. Final answer is, CS or cutting speed is equals to 75.3984 meter per minute or MPM. 
through the cutting speed formula. We can also solve for the drill speed and drill diameter used during a particular drilling operation. All we need to do is derive the cutting speed formula and we'll be able to create another formula for finding the drill speed and drill diameter. Now that we're familiar with the factors needed to be considered during drilling operation and how to solve for the cutting speed, drill speed, and drill diameter, the question is, why do we need to know and calculate for these factors? Each work material is unique and has different tolerances. By calculating for these factors, we can be much more efficient and effective during drilling operations and make the necessary adjustments if there is a need. Adjustments may be made by either changing the drill bit or changing the RPM or drill speed of a drill press. Basically, the harder the work material, the slower the recommended cutting speed. The softer the work material, the faster the recommended cutting speed. Also, the harder the work material, the slower the recommended RPM. The softer the work material, the higher recommended RPM.